Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kai, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple interaction system for your game in Unreal Engine 5, of course. So, I'm in a third person template, as usual. First things first, I wanna create what's called Blueprint Interface, so let's go make that. For that, go into your content folder, right click, go into Blueprints and Blueprint Interface. I'm gonna call mine Interact Interface but you can name yours, of course, whatever you want. Hit enter and open it. Right now, as you can see, on the, we already have like a function created. So I'm just going to name it. I'm going to call it interact function. Hit enter and that's it. We don't have to do here anything more for now. So close that. And now we are going to have to find our character blueprint. So for me, it's in third person blueprints and third person character. Open that up and we can start making it so i'm gonna first we need a keyboard input i'm gonna go with f so i'm gonna search for keyboard event and f and here we go you can of course just change it to whatever you want now from here we want to drag out and get line trace by channel and we want to also get our camera that we use on our character now the way i'm gonna do this is i'm gonna just put show you how to make the blueprints itself and then in the end i'm just gonna go quickly over it and explain what everything does so you can adjust it as you want so from follow camera get word location and then also get forward vector from word location we want to add so we plus and i'm just gonna move this away a little bit and from forward vector we want to multiply but we want to multiply by float so i'm gonna right click on the bottom pane go into convert pane and click on float and then we are just gonna plug it together like this and as you can see it just reset there for some reason so just do it again there we go and the value of the float is i'm gonna go with 750 but it's up to you and it's gonna depend on the game you are making so for the third person i think 700 to 750 works pretty well now this output we are gonna plug into end and from get word location we are gonna plug that into start and that's it now for the testing purposes i'm also in the line trace by channel gonna go into draw debug type and hit for duration now we want to get two branches so i'm gonna get one and then just duplicate it plug the plug branch 2 into true and the first one into line trace and a return value into the first branch then from out hit we want to get the information so break hit result expand it with this arrow get hit actor and thus implement interface look that up and we need interface and find the interface that we created so for me it's interact interface and select that one then we can just plug this into the second branch and from hit actor again we are going to drag and get interact function the one we created earlier get that and plug it into true and just like this we created a simple interaction system but how do we work with it well we need something to interact with so let's just quickly create that go back into our content folder and I'm just going to create a blueprint class actor and I'm just going to call this just call it new blueprint doesn't matter open that up and I'm going to add static mesh or just cube for the testing purposes now what you want to do with every object that you want to be interactable is you want to go into class settings and under interfaces you want to add and search for the interface we created the interact interface and once that's added on the left side you're gonna see under interfaces interact function right click that implement event and from there once you drag from this you can just add any logic you want i'm gonna go with print string for testing purposes but if you are if you have for example like an inventory system then and you want to pick up an item on interact then this is where you plug in the logic for picking up the item so i'm just gonna hit compile and save and then i'm gonna go into the map i'm gonna drag the cube in and hit play let's test it out 
and as you can see when i approach it and press f and uh, it does hit the cube then the print string fires and the red line is the line trace we created so like i said to quickly go over it and explain it. so what happens well we press the interact button that fire off line trace by channel which is the red line if that red line hits something then the branch gets fed into another branch that's why we have the true we don't want this parts to fire off pointlessly if we are not actually hitting anything then we also check if the object we hit from the out hit into hit actor this is this represents the actor that we did it if it does have that interface that way you can only interact with stuff that has that interface which in uh, game terms would mean you can only uh, interact with actual items or uh, things that you want to be interactable so for example grass won't be interactable because it won't have that interface implemented and then we just trigger the interact function which fires off the event in the blueprint in this case it fires off print string simple as that one last thing for the follow camera this is in the third person object so i'm using the basic follow camera if you are using first person camera for example you might want to change the float value because this float value determines how far the line trace goes so if i switch it to 15 and i go back into play and press f key you can see that that line trace is incredibly small so basically this float value changes how far your character will be interacted how far from an item what the max distance potentially can be so play around with it figure out what works for your project and yeah, that about does it for this video. Thanks for watching as always. Like, subscribe, suggest other things you would like to see. And yeah, see ya!